Roger Hall. Gotcha. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We are gonna go to Kroger today and do a Kroger grocery shopping haul for Keto. Yeah, we've done a few different grocery shopping hauls at Aldi, Walmart. Where else have I gone? Aldi and Walmart, is that really all I've done? Yeah, that's all I've done. So I've only gone to Aldi and Walmart for keto grocery shopping hauls. So I want to give you some more that um, you know you can weigh your options when it comes to budgeting and things that you want to find that you want to use in your week and things like that. So I'm going to take you today along with me to Kroger. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a couple more of these. Uh, so if you guys have any suggestions as to a grocery store that's in your local area, if it's close enough to me, I can try and make that happen for you. I know some other people mentioned Sprouts, um, which is doable for me. Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, things like that are definitely not in my budget for spending an entire week for a family of four. So that may not happen. But if you have any other grocery stores, like we have some Little Giants and Eden's Garden... Publix, we have Publix. So if you guys want to see those different kind of things, let me know in the comments below and I'll make it happen for you. Cool. Let's get started. I'm going to go and put away all these freaking laundry that I folded to yesterday because wow, I got so behind on like folding laundry and, you know, wife and mother duties and who. So, yeah. I'm going to have some coffee, put away the laundry, and we'll see you guys at Kroger. Okay. So I lied to you. The next time you see me won't be at Kroger because I want to show you my pretty flowers that I made. Isn't it cute? I made this, guys. Okay, I'm so excited about this because I don't do things like this like normally. This is not my thing. I've never been a crafty person, but I put this little arrangement together. Six bucks. Six bucks is what it cost me to make this. This whole thing was only six dollars at the, drum roll please, Dollar Tree. So, yeah, what do you think? I got enough to make another one, and I'm thinking about making it for my mom because I thought it was just so pretty. And I'm going to set it right up here, and it looks nice and springy. I also got this sign and this sign at the Dollar Tree. I mean, I thought those were really good finds at the Dollar Tree, and they look pretty nice up there on the wall, and I don't know. I mean, a dollar. I don't, would you guys want to like see Dollar Tree hauls? Because that's one of my favorite places to go. Here's my other bucket that I got at the Dollar Tree. The same style of galvanized gal, galvanized steel. Is that what the word I'm looking for? Um, but this one says flowers and garden. I think that one's in like French. See, I've got two of those buckets. But I like this one a little bit. Um, I think maybe this one would be pretty in like a bathroom. And I'm going to make another arrangement for it. So I got a couple different types of flowers for it. And I mean, yeah, of course, they're Dollar Tree flowers, so they're not the best quality. But when they're far away or, you know, whatever, they look nice. So, Okay, so change of plans, minor change of plans. We only needed a couple of things this week. We wound up having a lot more than we realized we did when I went through the fridge to make the grocery list. So we're gonna do just a couple of dinners that we know we don't have, and I'll show you what they are. And you know, that might give you some ideas as to what we eat and what you might wanna eat in your day. And yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and pick up a couple things for lunch to, um, I have been really inter or I've been really loving getting the um, like salami, pepperoni, and mozzarella, and like wrapping it up or provolone and wrapping it up, um, and eating that as like a lunch sometimes. So we need to get some of those, and we'll grab some uh, condiments that we're out of and stuff like that. And I'll make sure to show you all of those things because we get the sugar-free ones. So yeah, stay tuned. Yeah, I'll do it. You do? Yeah, I'll do it. 
Okay, well then we'll get you some apples. Okay. Okay. <laughs> For when we have tacos, we'll turn them into taco boats. Can I get a half pound of salami? Hard salami? No, I'm with him. Oh, okay. So we like to come in and get the mozzarella, some pepperoni, and then some salami. And we get it thin sliced and we roll it up the snacks and lunch. So I just found something in the chip aisle. These protein crisps, they're going to be about 6 grams of carbs, net carbs, for the 24 chips. But if I only eat half of a serving, then that would be like 3. So, I mean... I think maybe I should try these. What do you think? They're not strict keto. These are going to be considered dirty keto because they most definitely have sugar. But I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. We'll try them. So the next thing I'm going to get is some hot dogs. And these are also dirty keto because they're made with preservatives. But I used to get Nathan's because they're one gram of carb per dog. But then I learned quickly that I like Oscar Mayer better and they're the same macros. So, and they're cheaper. Much cheaper. But I'm going to go ahead and get these fun link dogs. That'll be a quick and easy dinner for when we are just running out of time. I'm going to grab a lunch meat situation so that I can actually put it into salads. So let's pick the best one. Maybe this cracked black pepper. It's not that bad. We'll go with that. You dropped one? Okay, well be careful. Okay, what a deal. So I might get this. Look at that. Tell me that's not the most beautiful roast. For $12.95. Let me see if I can talk to you about that one. Because that's very pretty. It would be so tasty. Pepperoni. I'm going to grab two bags of these. One for snacking. One for pizza. So here are the two Mio's that we usually get. This is Mio. But this is the Kroger version. I'm going to get the fruit punch and cherry lime. This one's with caffeine. This one's just electrolytes and vitamins. So, But they have a pretty good selection. So... So I did the math, and on this one, salted almond is the one I'm going to try today. 40% milk chocolate, so it's not dark. And it's going to be four um, carbs per half of the bar. So we're going to try this one. Oh, <gasps> Mojo Jojo. Oh, man, that makes it almost worth it to try. We tried. We tried. We tried. Got myself a Diet Coke. I didn't film as much as I wanted to in there, but we were kind of all over the place. But I haul... I got kitty cat cup. This is for my mom. And if you're watching this right now, mom, surprise. But it's cool. It's got like liquid in it and you're supposed to freeze it. So I picked myself up one too. This one doesn't have the really cool liquid in it. But it's uh, got unicorns all over it. And I grabbed Savvy one too because she, you know, always wants a special cup because Ivy drinks out of sippies. And I think she gets a little jealous about that, strangely enough. I got myself the Lily's chocolate bar. I'm going to give it a shot. Or a bite. I'm not going to take a shot of a chocolate bar. You want a bite? No. Don't call that man old timer. About 106. One day you'll be 106. And hopefully I make it that far enough where someone can call me old timer. Okay. Review. Delicious. Yeah. Four grams of carbs for the whole, for, for the half of the bar. It's just a read up. I like this one better than the dark one, just because it tastes more like a milk chocolate bar. And it's hitting the like Hershey with almonds vibes that you know you want in a chocolate bar. But it's definitely got that salted taste to it, which is really good. I like salty and sweet stuff, so this is a A++ for me. You want a bite? Good stuff. Yeah, I recommend this one. I'm like having a hard time with the fact that I'm having to close it. I mean, I don't have to close it. I could have eaten half of it. And it only been four carbs, but... Portion control. Okay, we are officially home. We went to Kroger. I didn't film as much as I wanted to in Kroger. Uh, I just wound up 
not. I don't know. Um, it was kind of crazy. Ivy was in the shopping cart, like throwing things out of it. So, and, and breaking things and just making messes. So I just decided to just go ahead and do a quick haul and show you what we grabbed up. And you know, maybe you can add some of these things to your grocery shopping list. So let's do that. Okay, so the very first thing that I want to show you is this huge chuck roast. I got this to put in the crock pot, and I'm going to make it sort of like a Mississippi roast. If you don't know what that is, it's um, banana pepper rings and ranch packet. But instead, I'm just going to do the banana pepper rings, and then I put my own seasonings in it. Would you guys like to see a recipe video on that? Because I can do it. Um, yeah, so that's my first thing. I grabbed almond milk. I've been really loving putting this in my coffee. I'm also coming up with a creamer recipe for coffee for you guys, so stay tuned for that. I got myself some romaine hearts, so when I make tacos, I can make taco boats. I got some shredded lettuce because this is how I like to eat my salad. Um, yeah, some people think that's weird, but I like to eat shredded lettuce for salads. Um, to go along with my salads, I got some uncured, or I'm sorry, this isn't uncured. This is cracked black pepper turkey breast. Um, I'll cut that up and put it in my salad. I got some cheese to put on top of my salad, and I'm going to have ranch dressing. So, that's my lunches for the week. We got some pepperoni. This isn't Borsa. This is just Kroger. It's kind of expensive, but we get it cut really thin, so there's a lot in there. Like, it's, it's very full. It's a whole pound of it, so it's a ton. And we will roll this up with some mozzarella and some salami and turn these into snacks. So, it's a really good snack. Um, they're really, they fill you up really good. So you can even eat these for lunches if you want. Wrong side, wrong side, this side. Bloop. There you go. Um, we got some pepperoni. So when we make fat head pizza, we love pepperonis. We got some Oscar Mayer wieners. This is dirty keto as is some of the other items here, but this is dirty keto. I like to make hot dogs and I'm thinking I want to do fat head corn dogs, pigs in a blanket. I got the recipe for those from Keto Ginger. If you guys don't know who that is, her name is Amanda. She is an amazing um, keto recipe vlogger. So, yeah, check her out. I'll link her in the description for that um, recipe. But, seriously, it's so good. So, yeah. I also grabbed some Mexican cheese. Uh, yes, it's better to shred your own cheese, but I was lazy. So, we're going to get this one up for tacos. Me and Savannah really like Vienna sausages. Judge me, because they're gross, I know. But I really like them. Also, very dirty keto, but they're low carb, so I get them. And we split a can of them for snacks. Um, we got our Mio squeezes. I showed you those in the store. I got these protein crisps. They are not exactly my favorite when it comes to macros, but, I mean, I, I really like chips. So, we'll see if they're anything like chips. Jeff got these sparkling ice drinks for himself, and I believe they're zeroed out everything, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're zeroed out everything. He got the um, cherry limeade and this apple, crisp apple one. I've tried them before. I'm not a fan of flavored water. So, that's, that. you know, like sparkling water. I'm not a fan of sparkling water. I got Parmesan cheese for when I make um, my keto chicken nuggets. Um, I'm going to use this to bread them, this, and then some mozzarella and some almond flour. So, yeah. I mean, I could also do a recipe video on that. You won't see that. Jeffrey, you just burped in my vlog. I got blue plate mayonnaise. Yes, this is made with soybean oil. This is made with palm oil. Which one is it? Soybean. Yeah. This one is made with soybean oil. So, yeah, it's dirty keto, but I like mayonnaise. Um, this is sugar-free ketchup. I've been using the G Hughes version because it winds up being um, better for you long term because it has better ingredients, but this one, I just like the taste of it better. So yeah, I grabbed this one for myself. I got some cheese dip for when we have tacos. This is like two grams of carbs or one gram of carb for two tablespoons and we really like the taste of it. It adds flair to our day, so you know, it may be dirty keto as well, but we're, we're getting it. Some hunt sauce for when I make my tomato sauce or my pasta pasta sauce. When I make my pizza sauce, um, this one is basil, garlic, and oregano flavor already. So that was kind of cool. I don't have to put quite as much seasoning in it. So yeah, I'll tell you how that turns out. 
That's for my girls. And all that junk over there is for my girls, except for the dishwashing packs. They shouldn't eat that. So this has been probably the shortest and most random vlog ever, but it was just kind of a little bit of a follow me around Kroger and let's pick up some groceries that we don't have at the house. And yeah, so maybe you guys, do you use any of this stuff? Did you get any ideas here? Did you want to see any of those recipe videos that I was talking about? Maybe the chicken tenders or the roast beef or what? What are you excited about? You want to do the keto coffee creamer because I'm really working hard on that one. So everybody, I hope you have a wonderful day. No, have a magical day and eat well. <laughs> okay. Heads up. I just tried these. Wow. These are really good. Again, these are definitely dirty keto. They have sugar in them. There's like two grams or something. Um, I'm going to eat 12 of these chips because that's three grams of carbs, so that's pretty high, but I mean, when you're craving a chip, they are sweet, smoky barbecue flavor. They're really good. Really good. So, portion control, be careful, but if you like chips and barbecue chips are your thing, then we'll like these.